Hey, how are you guys doing? McConnell Man here again with another Virtumech build. Uh, this time, an intermittent drive. This is uploaded by Ricky McConnell. Shout out to him. I believe this may have came from a McConnell magazine, and he re-uploaded it there. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. He could have came up with the design. I'm not quite sure. Um, I just wanted to build the darn thing. I didn't want to spend all day researching it, so here we are. Um, fun model to build. This one took me a little longer than the dog clutch um, in the previous video. Um, just adjusting and getting things right. Um, so this one probably take you about another 15 or 30 minutes to build. Total number of parts about 65 to 70 depending on if you're going to add extra washers and stuff. Um, I did modify the original plan. I minused out one piece. Um, no big deal. I wanted it to fit on the table. Um, always start with your base. Um, if you want a good model, you got to build a good foundation. Um, don't forget to put your rods in to align the holes. Important step. This model weighs about 0 0.233 kilograms, according to the Virtual Mech program. I had a lot of fun building this model, and I decided to put a white background beneath the virtual mech images this time. I think it made a little more sense. So this will be the most important mechanism of the whole device. Um, just a simple gear with four screws. which are going to push the lever arm out and um, disengage and re-engage the clutch. So there's the gear. Again, I want to stress how important it is to get the base right. Um, if you don't get the base correct, you're going to have issues aligning your gears and your moving parts and things like that. And honestly, I think I spent more time adjusting the mechanism than I did building it. Um, so keep that in mind when you're building things like this. Simple model. Um, I wanted to start out basic so I could um, learn. And this is where I modified Ricky's design slightly. Um, you can see on the bottom here I'm just going to put a boss. His design has another little piece here, but I took that out because I wanted it to fit on the table, um, and it still works just as good. So, Shout out to those of you who have been watching my videos. I uh, don't expect the channel to grow particularly fast just because of the content. I mean, who's really watching Erector Set videos? Um, but the people that are watching, I, I appreciate it, and... Um, keep up the good work I've been watching you and um, I'm liking what I see so um, it's nice to be in a community of people with similar interests um, so keep up the good work um, this video turned out a little longer than I wanted it to um, but there's somebody out there that might find this useful and if you end up building this model from the video let me know in the comments I'd like to know about it I'd like to know about your experience and um, if you actually watch the whole video going forward I think I'm gonna to try to make my videos a lot shorter so I can appeal to a wider audience get the worm gear in there that's not a Meccano gear that's actually a AC Gilbert but uh, that's what I got so I'm using what I got and that's the thing with Meccano is it's never perfect. You've got to find a way to make it perfect. As you can see, I added two washers here. Um, and it works perfect now. You could see before it was skipping. Little modifications to make things work right. You will need to find a spring for this model. Um, you can find them at your local hard hardware store. I just bought a big pack of springs. It's got all sizes. I should be set for a long time 
with that. Um, put another collar in there. Another AC Gilbert gear. Just making some final adjustments. It actually took me a long time to get the adjustments just right. But with the power of editing, you don't see any of that garbage. Here you go, you got the dog clutch running in unison with the intermittent drive. Unfortunately, it didn't look quite right. I've got too much going on, so I had to readjust again and try again. You can see things are working a little more smoothly now. And here's the model with the dog clutch removed. Um, just a motor straight to the intermittent drive. And here it is working wonderfully. Really enjoyed making this model. And if you enjoyed watching, please leave a comment and be sure to subscribe. Stay tuned for the next video. It'll be another virtual mech build. It'll be a reversing system. And um, at the end of the three-part series, I'm going to do a three-part Virtumec series. I will connect all three together um, and we'll call that video Build a Do Nothing Machine. So stick around for that. Thanks for watching, you guys.